बारबेरिक we do not care about you know you know the religious entity at that point of time especially about people who suffered there were so many people who had to migrate to neighboring uh, states and because only because they did not want to convert and you know even for the, those people who converted they kept going back to their uh, religion and you know they they suffered i mean the, the, about 16000 people of them we are not talking about one or two people but when the architect is celebrated we do not feel that the social fabric gets hurt but when you try and change the discourse and say that the biggest part about inquisition see again as i said temples were not demolished because you know the portuguese and the church wanted to have fun it was done as a part of a larger agenda that people should be disconnected from their culture and their roots and that is why if the chief minister says that the temple should be rebuilt i don't see any communal agenda in it so what i'm saying is like this a cleopatra baba saying ki some structure should be still continued see department of archaeology is not being shut down it will still continue the routine work will continue but this is a special project where temples which are lying in ruins you know will be rebuilt and i don't see anything in wrong with that okay, okay, okay well, then let, let me come to very crucial question giraj why now your government has been in power since last 10 years why now see governance is a continuous process and i don't think everything can be done in 5 years see in 2012 when we took over i think there were bigger issues to be taken care of you know there there was the see today you look at the infrastructure today look you look at the social uh, the schemes which have been put in place to make govern you know swayamburna in many ways so i believe that it is uh, you know governance is a continuous process and again dr savant in his uh, as i said i mean it's not a an announcement which he made after taking over as a cm this is the announcement he had made right before yeah, election yeah, I mean, yeah. so it it was sort of a election promise okay Amit, how do you respond to that? I say, why object? There is no point in object. See, please understand, none, none here, or none of us. Giriraj claims that there is nothing political about it. No, no, none of us, hmm. including me or I think other speakers here also have objected to revival of temples. The question remains is why this is the time that has been chosen. Why? Why, without identification of the structure, create fear in the minds of the people, create polarization? I understand that during Inquisition, temples were destroyed. Temples, uh, temples. I don't know. Let me come. Nobody has fear. Absolutely not. I will have more go temples to go to. But I think it's time that the government comes uh, comes across as a government which believes in communal harmony, getting Goans together. Goans are getting divided over religious uh, issues, and we have seen that in last one or two uh, two years. And last one month has been at at the peak of it. So I think as a Goan person, as a person uh, uh, who has lived in Goa in most most communal harmonious uh, state is today seeing a problem there my child i don't know how safe she would be okay or how you, safe you are she would saying, feel you are saying you don't like the direction in which this is going a simple thing i think there is no harm in in revival of temples churches mosques or whatever religious places that that the government intends to do which has been destroyed but identify them get to people and tell them this is what we are going okay. to do don't uh, create fear don't create words, polarization yeah. jack final words uh no i still stick to my stand that the state has no business to interfere in religion uh, religion is a private thing so uh, this if you want to revive temples there are enough under the archaeology department which are not being looked after there are enough structures they are always looking in my 20 years with the goa heritage action group they've always been uh, the funds have been less to their credit in the last 6 7 years more funding has been allocated lot of structures have been renovated including the saptakoteshwar temple in narve uh, i think the jain basti was done the alorna fort has been done so the government has taken a step in the right direction there 
but uh, there is no need to make statement like this when you have, when you you have more pressing needs giriraj said that the government uh, there were immediate challenges when when they first came to power <laughs> the same challenges or more remain after the pandemic you see the economic situation today yeah. how many people have lost income so so where are you going with making statements that in a time of crisis you are going here okay clear for the final words yes see every now and then giriraj is saying that uh, you know about the inquisition i come from that part of goa where those who fought the portuguese at that time have been celebrated we have the famous martyrs memorial where every year we celebrate the martyrs who fought the portuguese at that time secondly that that inquisition at that time and the attack on the temples at that time was not a religious exercise it was more of a political power and consolidation of economic power let us not live in the past we are today a secular society it is not our right or to build temples but certainly monuments of all types deserve attention okay uh, giraj quickly come completely out of time final words see despite of all these sermons of secularism bjp has been continuously voted to power by the people of goa and it's only with the support and blessings of people of goa that we have been able to be in power for three consecutive terms now and i still believe that the decision taken is what people want and it will resonate with people we have just seen what you know how ayodhya and kashi has rejuvenated the spirit so i think the same thing will happen in goa and as i said i we go we will not fall prey to this double standards where we you know we talk about hindu revival and we suddenly say that you know it's going to disturb communal harmony okay